in my day, when you went nursing, once you had done your training, if you wished to get married, you had to leave the profession. During the war in Bridgend, I had died at the soldiers' ward, which was very hard. It was at, as well as at times, but it was very enjoyable. After D-Day on June the 6th, the wounded soldiers, they were flown straight from Normandy over to the aerodrome in Porthcawl. And then they were brought by ambulance onto the hospital. There was a um, prisoner of war camp at Bridgend. And if any of the Germans got sick, they used to come into my uh, ward there. Some of them could speak English, some broken English, and some very good English. They weren't at seas. They were belonging to the Wehrmacht army. And they were young, some of them were young lads, who like our own young lads, uh, didn't want to be in the war, but there we were. And then one night there was a breakout in the um, camp and two of the officers got as far as Birmingham before being caught. And of course, a few of them uh, were injured on the way and we had them in the ward there. And they were very, um, very uptight at the treatment that they said they'd received for trying to run away. But uh, they weren't injured in any way. It was just that they were absolutely worn out through having walked so far, you know. But they were all quite pleasant lads. We never had much, uh, well, we didn't have any problem with them really and truly. Really. But they were not allowed to mix with the um, British soldiers on the ward. But the peace came while they were there when we decorated the ward up to celebrate peace and they wanted their ward. They didn't care whose uh, peace it was. They were glad the war was over and they could go back home. So they had their party and their award, and the British ones had it in their ward. Yes, although it was a terrible time during the war, there were happy times as well. There. 